Hey there, I'm Caitlin, and I'm so excited that you found this video. Before you watch it, I wanted to quickly explain where it came from. So we don't just randomly like take clips of ourselves at wedding days just for the heck of it. Uh, we actually have over 3,000 photographers who wait anxiously every single month for the 15th because on the 15th, they get brand new episodes of KJ All Access. So KJ All Access is a way for photographers to learn from behind the scenes of real life everyday shoots and weddings from a real photographer. So I've been in business for over 11 years, which makes me sound really old. Um, but I started my business when I was a junior in college, which was awesome. I started really young, um, but I quickly built this business that I love. And I realized that the best way that I could teach photographers to do the same thing is to bring them alongside me as a virtual third shooter. So that's what we do. Every single month, we allow people to watch us shoot behind the scenes. And so this is a clip from a recent wedding that we photographed in the heart of DC. So, and I mean the heart of DC. So this, this hotel um, that we were shooting at is literally right next to the White House. So you just, you look out almost any window and you can see the White House um, and the Washington Monument. It's just, it's beautiful, it's gorgeous, um, but we were in a rush. I mean, we needed to be heading to the church I hadn't got enough portraits done. I don't know if you can relate to that. Like when you're rolling on a wedding day and you realize, oh my gosh, we have to leave right now to be at the church on time. And I still need X amount of portraits. So as we were walking back to the hotel for the bridal party to get on their transportation bus, um, we saw the old fashioned car. There's an old fashioned car there. And I knew because we'd corresponded with the bride beforehand um, that we wouldn't necessarily have any other time to shoot the car. There wasn't really a lot of opportunity for that. If I was going to take portraits with the car, it was going to be right now. So I was rushing and I set them up in front of the car really quickly. You'll see that. Um, and it was fine, but it wasn't great. It, like it wasn't the best of the best. So then as like, I'm shooting really quickly and then I move them to the back of the car and it is night and day difference. We're talking like an okay portrait to like, Oh, this is beautiful. And so what makes the big difference? Like, why is there such a drastic change between the front of the car and the back of the car? Well, I'm here to tell you, it has nothing to do with the car. It has everything to do with the type of light that my clients were in. In one light lighting scenario on the back of the car, they had overcast lighting casting shadows in their eye sockets. And then on the other side, it looked like it would be darker, but actually they were further under the carport, which made the light more even. And so I had to um, change my settings a little bit, but it ended up being way prettier from that angle. So it just goes to show when you watch us, it just goes to show that paying Paying attention to the things that don't seem obvious really count and they add up. The background, the lighting, um, the angle, the pose, all those little things culminate into making a perfect portrait. And so anyway, I hope you enjoy this. It's just something that I noticed when I was shooting and I realized like this is a great example of how good light versus bad, not, bad light versus bad locations in the background and distractions in the background to like really clean backgrounds. So. I hope you enjoy it. It's only a few minutes long, um, but if you like learning stuff like this, like if you watch this and you think, oh, that was kind of cool to see, imagine watching an entire wedding day. I don't know, you might love it. You might want to be a part of KGL Access. So watch it and then I can't wait to hear what you think. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. We're gonna keep trying those until I feel like I have a perfect one. I'd love to get a shot with you in the car. Okay, if you guys want, Chris, you can come stand here, hands in your pocket. I'll take your dress. Perfect. Now, I need to explain a little bit about this. This was actually the only time, minus one little opportunity after the ceremony, but it was a horrible location. Um, this was our only chance to really use the car and to get great portraits with it. And so I was rushing really fast. Um, but you'll notice I stopped them here. And then in a few minutes, you'll see me take them to the back of the car. And it is a world of difference, um, mainly because of lighting. Like right here, the light um, from the overcast sky is kind of hitting them directly. And you kind of see a little bit of darkness in their eye sockets. It's a little bit heavy. It's not bad at all. Um, but there's also a red car in the background that's hard to block. Um, so pay attention to the way the light looks here and then pay attention to when I move them to the back of the car, what the light looks like then. Oh, good thing you didn't run over your veil. That would be bad. Although we got so many pictures. So yeah. 
You are so relaxed and I love you for it. <laughs> I really do. Sorry, I've been like a little bit like what is happening all day. <laughs> no, you, I know. Well, it's like weird that it's like your day. Yeah. It's hard to keep it's it like, all straight. I feel like I'm on <laughs> I know, but it's here and it's, it's wonderful so far. Um, so let's have you face each other again. And you're, you can put your flowers in your left hand. It's so interesting for me to watch back and see this because in my mind, I'm like, oh, Caitlin, gosh, why are you doing another, another pose here? It's so much better if you go to the back of the car and shoot the opposite direction. But, you know, hindsight's 2020. I had no idea. I thought this was my only chance. Um, but I'm excited for you to see the difference between the two. This, this area right here is, there's nothing wrong with it, but you can see on her eyes um, and his eyes the way the light is um, kind of like hitting their eye sockets and causing shadows. That's why I have them nose to nose because you can kind of hide that a little bit if they're facing each other like this. But once I turn them the, the other direction, they're underneath the light of the canopy of like the carport. Pretty sure you don't call that a carport. It's too extravagant for a car. The porch, I don't know. But whatever. They go underneath and they stand in the back and the light changes and it makes it so much softer. So like that's pretty. Like there's nothing wrong with that. But the column shadows are heavy. Um, I can't I can't brighten it but so much because her dress will be overexposed. Like that's classic. That's fine. But you will see when we go to the opposite side it looks way more KJ. Just in close. Sorry I know everyone's watching. Beautiful. Both of you can look at me and smile, and you can stand them nice and tall. It's okay if your heads don't touch. Flowers can come back around, and you can come in front if you want. Perfect. Oh, that's, yes. And Chris, turn your shoulders out towards me. Left hand can be in the pocket if you want. Okay, smiling here, guys. Perfect. And it's a little bright. The sun's coming out. So I'm just going to back you up and then we're done. Is our, is our transportation here or just theirs? Oh, yours is too? Perfect. Am I okay to take a, am I okay? Oh, perfect. Two, two more minutes? Great. Let's get you out of the bright sun. Okay. We're going to pull you on this side. Um, let's see. How do I want to do this? I want to do it. You stay here for two seconds. Um, guys, let's pull you, let's pull you back to the end, actually, back here. Yes, this is a good decision. I can just feel it. We're gonna move that congratulations sign that's on the side of the look at that. Oh gosh. Ruining a classy car. I don't know why people do that, but anyway, um, this this is oh, oh, look at the guy. See the guy there? Just totally shooting, filming. I don't know what he's filming. I don't know if he's trying to like get his own shots. I don't, I don't know, it's so awkward. Just hold hands. I'm backing up, backing up, let's see. Oh, this is good. Hand in the pocket for you. Okay, you're just gonna do a little bit of this with your hips. I'm gonna pull your bay out to the side. <laughs> Guys, sorry, you have a, um, a random guy taking pictures of you. I hope you don't mind. I have no idea who he is. <laughs> He's loving his life. I'm like, I know. I'm lucky. They're beautiful. Okay, you guys can smile. Look at me right here. Beautiful. Couple more. Go ahead. I'm going to actually have you face each other a little bit. Perfect. Wrap those arms around your bride. You can look at each other for a second. Beautiful. Almost done. Let's go ahead and do a forehead kiss for one. <laughs> forehead kiss is fine. Emma, Emma, you're doing an Emma laugh at me. He's looking down at you. You can pull your flowers up and you can tilt towards me a little bit. Okay, here we go. And you can nuzzle in, Chris. Go ahead and nuzzle. Beautiful. Let those eyes fall for me, Emma. Guys, do you see the difference? Like rewind back and look at the difference between the light in the first one and the light in these. It's just a world of difference. So much better 